Oi! Before you get your knickers in a knot, press pause and read this. Hacking is not a crime. Momentum Firmware for Flipper Zero. Momentum Firmware is a custom firmware. Drawing from the official firmware and incorporating the remarkable features found in the Unleashed firmware. According to the developers of the Momentum firmware, it serves as a seamless progression of the Extreme firmware, crafted by the unique team of developers responsible for its predecessor's success. Basically, if Extreme and Unleashed had a baby, Momentum would be it. The objective of the firmware. The developer's ambition behind this firmware is to continually explore the limits of Flipper Zero's capabilities, leading the charge in pioneering numerous innovative features. They aim to deliver the most user-friendly and adaptable experience across firmware options, with a keen focus on swiftly addressing bugs and upholding a stable, compatible environment. It's packed with features. The Momentum devs have said they have and will integrate all third-party features and applications that are practical and function correctly, in addition to introducing a wide array of exciting new functionalities crafted by themselves. Reliability. The Momentum devs claim that with their deep understanding of the intricacies of the system, they aim to provide an exceptionally stable experience. They ensure compatibility of all modifications, both backward and with other systems, through proactive adjustments. Highly customizable. Nearly every aspect of the Momentum interface is modifiable. You can add or remove apps, alter animations, update icon graphics, rename the flipper, modify the main menu appearance, set unique key bindings, and much more. These adjustments can be made directly on the Flipper Zero, eliminating the need for complex setups. In this video, I will provide an overview of the Momentum firmware's key features. For a comprehensive list, check out their GitHub repository, link in the description. Momentum settings. The Momentum firmware introduces a robust intuitive application which has been designed specifically for seamless configuration of every imaginable setting and beyond. Interface customizations. Every detail of a Flipper Zero can be adjusted from desktop animations to menu appearances, lock screen behavior, file explorer, and more. Protocol settings, fine-tune sub-gigahertz configurations, manage custom frequencies, and designate GPIO pin assignments for various external components. Miscellaneous adjustments. All other customizations needs are catered, including changing the flipper's name, XP level, display settings, and RGB backlight configuration. Animations, asset packs. The Momentum devs have developed an enhanced animation, or asset system if you prefer, allowing for the easy creation and management of asset packs. This system simplifies the loading custom animations, icons and fonts, effectively functioning as a straightforward theme system. Acquired asset packs can be transferred to this folder. A correct installation will display folders like and or alternatively, you have the option to directly download and install these packs via the Momentum website. Following the installation of the packs onto a flipper, press the arrow up button from the main menu and proceed to Momentum Settings, Interface, Graphics. Select the asset pack that needs to be used and adjust any other settings according to any required preferences. Then, close the application and restart the flipper to dive into a personally customized experience. Bad Keyboard. While Bad USB is a notable application, it lacks Bluetooth functionality. Bad Keyboard introduces a switchable USB and Bluetooth mode for enhanced versatility in operations. Bluetooth mode enables device name and MAC address spoofing, mimicking devices like portable speakers or wireless keyboards, facilitates attention without requiring physical connections. USB mode expands functionalities to spoof manufacturer details and identifiers, as well as vendor and product IDs. Summary of changes. There's far more changes than I care to list or that you care to listen to. So I've provided a summary here and in the description that highlights the most significant user-centric changes. For detailed insights, consult Momentum's change logs and co-commits on their GitHub repository. Also, compare their features against other firmware on their website. The contributions I have highlighted here 
are the specific changes that the Momentum devs have claimed responsibility for. But Dick, how can this fandogled custom firmware you speak of be installed on a Flipper Zero? Shut up, you impatient person. I'm getting there. There are multiple methods for installing Momentum. The Momentum devs suggest using the web updater, although a zipped archive can also be downloaded. Not that anyone gives a shit, but I personally prefer using QFlipper because fuck Chromium based browsers, except for Brave, you my bae. I have a boyfriend, so don't ask me out. I ah! have a go. But obviously, the choice is yours because free will. If you need help installing the Momentum Custom firmware on a Flipper Zero, check out my video tutorial. Or if you don't need my help, fuck me. But as you are still here, I can only assume you are content on watching some more bullshit on YouTube. So why not watch some more of mine?